You know what, Karen, there's really been an awakening this week following the indictment, the arraignment of Donald Trump. Um, it really riled the base and rallied the base on a lot of people standing up and saying, no, this isn't the America I want to live in. No. And, and, you know, what do we do right now? Do we get back to God and do we pray? And that's one of the big reasons I wanted to bring in someone that I'm a big fan of. Uh, and she runs Proverbs Media and her name is Elaine Beck. But even more importantly, she runs an organization called Blessings Through Action. Elaine, welcome to the show. Good morning. Well, thank you for having me again. I just love being on this show because I hear so many positive things, and that's what It's Not About Us, which is my show, talks to, is the fact that it's not about us. And so since it's about our Lord and Savior, since it's about being a Christian country, I think it's so important that we pray, pray continually, the Bible says. And some people say, well, how do you do that? I'm busy. I go to work. I, you know, I have kids and everything's always in my face and that kind of thing. But the truth of the matter is that you can be praying about all of those things. I mean, just in your mind, you can be, you know, when you hear something sad or, or you're frustrated, you know, in your mind, you can be saying, Lord, help me. Lord, help us. And that's what I want people to do right now in the country. Since we are all fighting this battle, let's understand that you are significant. When you can, every time you hear something on the news that, that scares you or upsets you or worries you about our nation, or even if you're just doing something during the day, you can always be in your head going, Lord, please help this country be with us. Hmm. Where do you see our country being spiritually right now? Uh, Do you see us being in a spiritual awakening right now or are we spiritually dead? And and I don't mean to be to be so so somber, but uh, how do you see it? Uh, The way I see it right now is that um, there's a lot of Christians in this country that are upset, concerned, Uh, see all of that hate and evil that's going on, particularly the evil. And so they want to do something. They just don't know what to do. And I think that there's a way more of us. They, They want to tell us that there's very few people that that are Christians. There's very few few people that you know care about God or Jesus and that understand things like our Holy Week this week. But the truth of the matter is, is there's way more of us. They're just trying to do what they always do. The devil is the great deceiver, so he's going to lie. He's going to tell the world that. Nobody's there and nobody cares. Nobody wants to do anything and it's not true. Trust me, all of you and all of us know millions of people out there love God and we need him now more than ever. So let's call him down. Let's call him down. That's beautiful. I, you know, I wonder how much of this is about consumption for all of us. You know, we're so ruled in this world by our devices and by big tech. And you and I have talked before about the grassroots efforts that Blessings Through Action does, where you want to really get out there and meet people and shake their hand and look into their eyes and teach them how to pray and give them hope and faith. But how do we do that when we're living in a society, especially with our kids, that's just so disconnected right now? Well, I think that, you know, we as individuals, whether we're a parent, a grandparent, a cousin, a niece, a neighbor, whatever, we always have to be thinking about these things, the positive part of it. And I think that we have to overcome in our minds. We have strong minds. God gave us a mind where we can change our thinking. And I think that's what one of our trials are right now. We're being asked to change our thinking. And instead of When we hear that negative thing or when we're thinking about, you know, these kids and stuff, we need to be working on our mind and saying, hey, kids, let me tell you a story. Uh, Last week, um, I was with a group of pastors and they talked about the fact that the people that led all of the troops when when uh, England came over and tried to take the take the country over, what happened? The pastors the pastors of the churches were the ones that led the people out into battle to win this country over. So we have to remember we are stronger and more focused than anybody, and our minds are strong enough to overcome those things.
So I'm looking Absolutely. at our Getter chat right now, and a lot of people are reacting to what you're saying. And this is something that just really stood out to me. Nanny says, there is time for loud shouts. We are too timid. Elaine is so correct. Be bold. This is real war. Put that into context. Uh, like, are we in a spiritual war? You know, it seems so far-fetched and, 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 and kind of outside of everything that we're used to. But there, is a, there are people who think that we're in a spiritual war right now. We are in a grave spiritual war. We are in a, the middle of a battle that can either become bigger than us or smaller. The difference is if you believe in God at all, if you believe in Jesus, you know that you have the Holy Spirit in you. And that Holy Spirit and Jesus himself is stronger than any evil there is. If we call down the Holy Spirit and the Lord into this world right now in all that we do, we can overcome this battle. And that's important. But get out and talk to your neighbors about it. Talk to the people in the store. Talk to anybody that you can to encourage them and tell them, we can overcome this. Uh, you know, and I guess that's my message to everybody. You know, I want you to go out and uh, I want you to get back to contacting your congressmen, your senators, send a letter, send a text. You know, I love it. It's so much easier nowadays to contact them, but we don't think about doing that. That's like, think people think that's old school. It's not. They still need to hear from you and say, I'm not going to vote for you if you're not going to do what's right about, by my Judeo principles and my, my Christian principles. If you're not going to fight that battle for me, then I'm not going to fight for you. Hmm. We need to stand up and be counted and say, God is our witness and we will stand for him and keep praying people in all things pray. Pray, 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 pray. And thank That's you so much. Right. I knew that it was going to be inspiring having you on today. And it definitely fulfilled my expectations of the interview. So, Elaine, it's always so good catching up with you. Thanks for joining us on this Good Friday. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you so much. And God bless everybody on this Easter week. Absolutely. Bless you. Thank as well. you.